Welcome back ladies and gents. In this particular teaching video, I'll be looking at 3.4 linear inequalities. 3.4 represents chapter 3, section 4 of the Pearson A Level Maths Pure Maths Year 1 textbook. I'm going to start this teaching video by going through 1, 2, 3 and 4 different inequalities. I'm going to rewrite each of these inequalities in set notation. Let's start off with the first one. X is greater than 2. Set notation. So we have a special curved bracket. The set of values of x such that, the colon means such that, the restriction is x is greater than 2. The other way to write this is as follows. Curve bracket 2, comma, infinity, close curve bracket. Now the reason why over here we have a curve bracket is because x is not equal to 2. And also over here we have a curve bracket because x cannot equal infinity. This here represents x is greater than 2. It goes to infinity. Right, moving on to the next one. x is less than or equal to minus 1. Let's write this in set notation. So we have a special curve bracket, the set of values of x, such that we have the restriction x is less than or equal to minus 1. The other way to write this is as follows. Now in this situation we have curve bracket minus infinity comma minus 1 square bracket. Okay so x can be minus 1 or less. So over here we've got square bracket to include the minus 1. Curve bracket over here because x cannot equal minus infinity. So that there represents x is less than or equal to minus 1. Let's have a look at the third inequality. Over here we've got x is less than 1 or x is greater than or equal to 5. So we can write this in set notation. Special curve bracket, so the set of values of x such that x is less than 1 or x is greater than or equal to 5. That there is the set notation. Now the other way to write this is as follows. Let's start off with x is less than 1. So we've got curve bracket minus infinity, comma, 1, close curve bracket. Now the or, the set notation for or is union. So we put a union here. Then we write down x is greater than or equal to 5. So we've got a square bracket, 5, comma, going up to infinity, close curve bracket. Okay, so that there is the other notation. Finally, x is more than or equal to 1 or less than or equal to 6. Let's write this beautiful inequality in set notation. So set notation. We've got the set of values of x such that x is more than or equal to 1 but less than or equal to 6. Okay, so the other way to write this is as follows. Square bracket, 1, comma, 6 square bracket okay that there's the other way to write it now one thing to take a note of is this one over here when solving inequalities dividing by a negative flips the inequality symbol that there is very important okay so let's have a look at some examples find the set of values of x for which part a this inequality is satisfied part b this inequality is satisfied and part c this inequality is satisfied Let's have a look at part A. Okay, so first of all, I've got 5x plus 9 is greater than or equal to x plus 20. I can take the x to the left-hand side to give me minus x um, is greater than or equal to 20. So 5x minus x is 4x plus the 9 is greater than or equal to 20. Now we can take the 9 to the right-hand side so we would have 4x is greater than or equal to 20 take away 9. 20 take away 9 is 11. So x is greater than or equal to 11 over 4. Now 11 over 4, ladies and gents, is just 2.75. Okay, so in set notation, we would write the set of values of x such that we have the restriction x is greater than or equal to 2.75. Okay, so the other way to write this is square bracket 2.75 comma infinity curve bracket. Okay, so that there completes part A. Let's move on to part B. 
So in part B, we're going to solve this inequality. So first of all, I've got minus 3x is less than 27, take away 12. Okay, so we have minus 3x is less than 15. Okay, so now we're going to divide both sides of the inequality by negative 3. This will flip the inequality. So we have x is greater than 15 divided by negative 3 is minus 5. We can write this in set notation. The set of values of x such that the restriction is x is greater than minus 5. Now the other way to write this is as follows. We have curve bracket minus 5 comma infinity. Close curve bracket. Okay, so that there represents x is greater than minus 5. Moving on to part c. So over here, we need to first expand the brackets. So I'm going to do that now. I've got 3x minus 15 is greater than 5 minus 2x plus 16. Okay, so let's rearrange. I've got 3x minus 15 plus 2x is greater than 5 plus 16. So 3x plus 2x is 5x minus 15 is greater than 5 plus 16, which is 21. So 5x is greater than 21 plus 15, hence 5x is greater than 36. Now we can divide both sides by 5. This gives us x is greater than 36 over 5. 36 over 5, ladies and gents, is 7.2. Let's write this in set notation. So we've got the set of values of x such that the restriction is x is greater than 7.2. The other way to write this is curve bracket 7.2 comma infinity close curve bracket so that there represents x is greater than 7.2 here are some exam style questions question number one find the set of values of x for which 3x minus 5 is less than x plus 8 and 5x is greater than x minus 8 okay so to tackle this problem i'm going to first solve this inequality and then i'm going to solve this inequality Okay, so let's start off with this one over here. We've got 3x minus 5 minus x is less than 8. So 3x minus x is 2x minus 5 is less than 8. So 2x is less than 8 plus 5. 2x is less than 13. Hence, x is less than 13 over 2. And we know that 13 over 2 is 6.5. Okay, so we've got x is less than 6.5. Let's move on to the next inequality. We've got 5x minus x is greater than minus 8. 5x minus x is 4x, which is greater than minus 8. Now we can divide both sides by 4. This gives us x is greater than minus 2. Okay, now to solve this and this inequality, we need to draw a number line. So here's my number line for x. Okay, so we have minus 2 over here and we've got 6.5 over here. Okay, so x is greater than minus 2. How would you label this? We draw a circle at minus 2 and then the arrow going to the right like that. x is less than 6.5. We draw a circle at 6.5 and the arrow going to the left. Okay, now over here, notice that there is an overlap. We can shade in the overlap. So... The solution that satisfies this inequality and this inequality would therefore be x is more than minus 2 but less than 6.5. You can write this in set notation. So we have the set of values of x such that the restriction is x is more than minus 2 but less than 6.5. The other way to write this is curve bracket minus 2 comma 6.5 close curve bracket. Okay, let's move on to question number two. Find the set of values of x for which this inequality or this inequality is true. So I'm going to solve this inequality first and then I'm going to solve this inequality. Let's have a look at this inequality. I've got x minus 5 uh, plus x is greater than 1. So x plus x is 2x minus 5 is greater than 1. So this gives us 2x is greater than 1 plus 5, 2x is greater than 6, hence x is greater than 6 divided by 2, 3. 
Moving on to the next inequality, this one. So we have 15 minus 3x minus 2x is greater than 5. Minus 3x minus 2x will give us minus 5x greater than 5. So we can rearrange now. We've got minus 5x is greater than 5 minus 15. So minus 5x is greater than minus 10. Be careful, ladies and gents. Over here, we're going to divide by negative 5, so that will flip the inequality. So dividing both sides by a negative 5, this gives us x is less than 2. OK, now we're going to draw a number line for x. OK, so um, 2 will be here, and the 3 will be here. X is less than 2, how would you label this? You draw a circle at 2, and the arrow goes to the left. X is greater than 3. You draw a circle at 3, and the arrow goes to the right. OK, so over here you notice that there is no overlap, so you would write your solution as X is less than 2 or, not and, or X is greater than 3. The reason why you don't put and is because it won't make sense. How could x be less than 2 and also be greater than 3? It won't make sense. You must put or. Okay, so be careful. We can write this in set notation. We have the set of values of x such that x is less than 2 or x is greater than 3. The other way to write this is as follows. We've got curve bracket minus infinity, comma, 2, close curve bracket. That represents x is less than 2. Now the or, you can replace it with union. This one over here, you would write it as curve bracket, 3, comma, positive infinity, close curve bracket. Okay, so that there completes this exam style question. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.